So you have made some good products, some bad products and some really bad products. Let me show you today how to do some alcohol recovery and you can still use that neutral alcohol a bit later. Hey everybody, the seller here, one of your favorite home and hobby distillers. Yes, today I'm tempting to do a bit of alcohol recovery. I've had a bit of flavor runs and some gins that I'm not really happy with. It's not that they're bad, you can't drink them, it's just that I know I can make something better. But now the bottles are sitting there and I'm having all those flavors, but not something that I really like, as well as there's still some alcohol left in the bottles. So I've decided, let me show you guys how I do an alcohol recovery run. So that you don't just waste your products or throw them down the drain, you can actually still redistill it, use the neutral alcohol and then use it as a vodka or make another gin if you want to. I've even added some rum that was really bad but burned as well. I added in here. I also add some color rinse. I used some forest berries to extract the colors. It was very pink. I even add that one in here. So in here I had a lot of different products that were mixed. Even like I said some ones that had some color. But it came out very very faint color of light purple. But I tasted it. It still tasted like a gin because most of the products were gins. But I've added everything in the boiler. Now for alcohol recovery or even a second distillation, even if you had a whiskey or rum here and you want to redistill it into a better product, always remember to dilute it a bit. Now there's a lot of reasons for dilution, some is preference, some is about safety and I went for a 40% and lower ABV. When I measure it, it was about a 58% before I started, so I had to dilute it down to 40%. The reason for the 40% ABV is that alcohol on a 40% ABV will tend to ignite if you use a light or an open flame. Anything below 40, it tends to struggle to ignite unless the vapors will start to vaporize and then the vapors itself will catch a light. So for safety reasons, you bring it down to 40% ABV. That will just help and prevent that if your still does spring a leak and you use an open flame, that it will just not auto ignite or just start to burn and you could cause a hell of a mess even explode i have seen some videos that was really bad even a guy that burned himself because of something like that happened second part is for me is my element at the bottom is about this high from the bottom so if i tend to run my still dry that there's no more liquid over the element as well the element can damage as well so I tend to make sure that I have about a 10 to a 15 liters of bottoms, if you want to call it that, that I can always ensure that the element stays underneath water or is submerged, that it doesn't have a chance of burning out if it tends to get dry and there's no more liquid covering it. So that's also a reason. Another reason, oh, I see it's flooding. I have to turn down my power consumption. I've still got the reflux. 100% cooling water opens, so all the liquid is pushing down at this moment but I can just actually see it starting to flood. Go check out one of my previous videos where I talk about handling flooding but I'm just going to reduce the power a bit and then let it subside and then I'm going to start to open on the reflux or rather close on the reflux condenser so that the product can start to come out. But okay, enough about that. The another reason also for diluting your product is Water molecules and alcohol molecules tend to stick together like for like. So if the alcohol molecules are in abundance, like a 60% or 65% alcohol, they tend to move freely around, there's a lot of alcohol molecules, and the water molecules will tend to sit together. These alcohol molecules will come through your still and you will get a high ABV at the back, but you will tend to have to put more effort in to get a high ABV product at the end. If you're not using a lot of plates and you're having a pot still or a maybe just a one or two plates if you dilute your product now your alcohol molecules tend to get lesser and the water tends to get more when these fewer alcohol molecules they will then tend to sit together they will everybody come together and they will tend to bond much easier together 
and you will see you have a much better recovery from a very low ABV having a pot still or one or two plates coming out on the other side. So that's also a reason why it's good to dilute before you redistillate. So for now, I am, like I said, I'm actually on my stabilizing run where I like to stabilize it out for half an hour just to make sure everything is nice and settled. Go check out my last video about high reflux run. It's basically the same setup. Also with the glass section in here, also nine plates in. I'm also gonna just recover pure neutral alcohol out today, pushing for a 90% and above ABV. And then we'll see how much we recover. I honestly didn't measure exactly how much that I pour in actually, so I'm not entirely sure how much I will get out. I've got my 13 liter glass carb already. I'm also gonna collect into my one liter plastic cylinder. From there I will transfer into my glass cylinder. My plastic one is just for measuring. I will not let it stay in there because it's not good to keep a high proof alcohol in a plastic container. Oh, this flooding is getting bad. I need to start to do adjustments. But yes, I will definitely collect in the plastic, throw it into the glass, and that's just to measuring purposes so I can write down exactly how it goes. The last time I did it, I got about a uh, half a liter per 35 minutes out. So let's say in an hour's time, I got about two liters, just over an hour's time, I got about two liters of product out. I wanna see if I run a bit faster today. That's why I'm actually sitting with a flooding at the moment. See if I can run a bit faster see if I can maybe bring that 35 minutes down to a 30 or even a 25. But yeah, everything is still experimenting, you're playing around with it. So until I speak to you again, let me get those reflux condenser or defragonator, let me close that water a bit, or bring down my, uh, or bring down my kilowatts on my heater and prevent this flooding from running through the whole tower. All right, everybody, things are looking good. As you can see, I still got a bit of flooding. This one as well actually flooded. But like I said, I am running it a bit faster today, trying to push it the limits to see where it's going. At this moment, I can see what I'm putting in and what I'm getting out is balancing out evenly. I'm still getting about a 93% ABV. Got about three and a half liters collected already. So I'm very satisfied at the results. I'm hitting that goal that I was aiming for. So I'm very happy. I will then speak to you guys a bit later. So I've got a few liters left. I'm not even sure how much is in here at the bottom, but I will get back to you when I have the end results. Things are getting going quite nicely. I've checked it. My 13 liter carboy is actually full. Starting to transfer to my reserve tank over there, a three liter glass bottle. I'm sitting with Still about a 90-91, maybe 90.5% ABV. I can definitely see the rate at which the parrot is dropping the spirits has definitely come down where it was shooting out nicely. It's now falling and actually sometimes actually falling like a small slope backwards. So it definitely tells me my rate has reduced quite a lot. I can also see on the time where I took about 12 to 14 minutes for every liter of product collecting. It's now stretching to 16 and then 20 and the last one was about 22 minutes. So it's still faster than my initial 35 minutes, but it's definitely getting slower. Definitely getting slower, but it's as expected. I will run it now until the parrot completely stops. Then I know that I've tried to recover all of the alcohol as much, much of the alcohol as I could through my stall. I will still run it, keeping every settings as it is. Got the reflux condenser fixed and my power output also fixed during the entire run. So hopefully it will end up before I <laughs> fill my reserve tank as well. It's a lot more alcohol than I was expected. I really didn't expect this much. It just goes to show if you do have a bad product, it's not necessary that you have to pack it away in a cupboard and leave it for the rest of your life or throw it down the drain. Recover the alcohol and then use your neutral alcohol to either dilute some other spirits or use it as a gin or whichever way you like. All right, things is coming to an end. I've been looking at it and actually sometimes the parrot just starts to drip and then it's like a small constant flow and then it drips and sometimes it 
like almost stops and then it drips again. So I'm thinking I'm becoming to really the end of the run. I must be honest with you, I got 16 liters of neutral alcohol out. We'll definitely measure it to see exactly how much ABB is it. I think it's about a 90, maybe a 91 or a 92. It's not as pure as I would have thought, but because running it a bit faster, you have a tendency of water molecules going with your distillate out and being also collected. But that's not a train smash. I mean, 90% is still fairly good. I'm very pleased with that. I can also see on the bottom side glasses, it tends to get foggy, almost like it fogs up. That also gives me indication that a lot more water is also coming through. If you tend to see that on your side glasses, you know that you're also coming to an end of your run or you might be running it a, a bit faster because water molecules are also in, uh, getting entrapped with the distillate and then being pushed all the way up. This one I can still see it's fairly clear so it still shows me that there's still a bit of alcohol here left inside. I can maybe now play around with the reflex condenser, you know, close a bit on the water and see if I can push that out some more. But I'm, I'm fairly happy with what I've achieved today. I'm not too worried about where it's ending. My boiler is now about at a 92 degrees Celsius, so that's also quite getting high. Normally I stop around 90 degrees, so I have also pushed it slightly bit more. I still got a 69.8 degrees right at the top, just above the defragonator or the reflux condenser. I've been keeping it constant there. Sometimes it will go to 70, 70.1 degrees and then coming down back to 69.8. So I know I've been very constant with my flow or this leg coming out, out of the top as well. But yes, I'm definitely very happy, satisfied. I think I am actually going to stop the run and let it cool down. What I will then do is I will measure the ABV content of the bottoms that are still left. Just to give me a rough estimate of how much did I win or how much of a recovery that I got. I know when I started it, I got it to about 38 ABV when I diluted it down. So I will see now from that 38, where do I live? Well, I will see from that 38% ABV that was in there, how much is still left. And then maybe make a rough estimate of just how much product was actually in the boiler before I started. Thank you very much for watching. Leave a comment, give it a like. And as always, remember to be awesome, to be kind and be yourself. Cheers.